Right. So we are, I think the best option here would be to choose the left-hand side. Whenever I get a 3x like this, what I normally do is I break it up into 2x plus x. Okay. And then at the bottom, I have cos x. And then, oh no, we don't put the right-hand side. Okay, so that's usually what I would do. I always use a 2x. Why do I use a 2x? Well, because then we have a lot of double angles, okay? And so what I would then do is I would look at this part over here, and I would expand that using a compound angle, specifically the one that goes like this. Okay, I would, I would use that one over there. And so that's going to become cos 2x, cos x minus um, sin 2x, sin x. And then at the bottom, we're just going to have cos x. Okay, now was that this one over here, sin 2x, that's a nice one. The reason is if you look on your, peri uh, not your periodic table, if you look on your formula sheet, Sin 2x can only turn into, uh, it can only become one thing. So that's a very easy one. The one that is a bit more difficult is cos 2x. Why? Because cos 2x can become three different things, right? It can become this. It can become this. And it can become this. So I would say, leave that one alone for now. Don't change that one just yet. So I'm going to leave it as cos 2x times cos x. Then I'm going to change the sin 2x into its expansion. Like that. Um, and then I would just simplify a little bit. I mean, you could have changed it if you want to. Like, if you know what you're doing, then it is quite easy to change it. So I know which one we should change it to. The reason I do this, or the reason I know this is, um, if you've watched any of these lessons with me before, you would know that what I normally tell people to do is the following. If I look at this over here, I see that it is at the top, right? It's not at the bottom, it's at the top. So what I then do is I look at the answer, which is this part over here, and I look at the top. Now, that one doesn't have a bottom and a top. It only has a top, okay? And I look and I see, is there more sin or is there more cause or is there a bit of both? If there is a bit of both, sin and cause, then I would use this one. If there is only cause, I would use this one. And if there is only sin, I would use this one. So if I look at that top, I realize that there's only cause. And so I will definitely go with that one over there. Okay, that's the strategy that I use. And it works very nicely. It works every time. So cos 2x, I'm going to open up a bracket. And I'm going to change it to 2 cos squared x minus 1. Then I multiply that with cos x. Then it's minus 2 sin squared x times cos x um, over cos x. What I would then do is just multiply this cos x into the bracket. And so we're going to end up, oh, we're going to end up with a cube. That's interesting. That's quite weird. Oh, no, it will be okay. So that's cos cubed x minus cos x minus 2 sin squared x cos x over cos. Now, don't worry about all of these terms. The first thing you should identify is that there is a sin squared, but at the top uh, in the answer, there is no sin squared. So we need to get rid of that. We need to get rid of that uh, ASAP. So what I would do is I would use, I mean, there's so many different ways of changing this one over here, but I would just go back to the grade 11 identity, which says that sin squared X plus cos squared X is equal to one. As I said, there are other ways we could have done this. Then I'm going to get the sin squared x by itself. 
there we go. So what I would then do is take this now. Um, sorry, I would take this and substitute it in that place over there. Okay, and so we're going to end up with 2 cos cubed x minus cos x minus 2 brackets 1 minus cos squared x close the bracket cos x over cos x. Okay, um, I would then put this cos x over here. I would just put it in the front with the 2 for now. You don't have to do it like that. But yeah, I think that for me is just most comfortable. So that would become 2 cos cubed x minus cos x minus 2 cos x bracket 1 minus cos squared x over cos x. Right. Now we're just going to go multiply that um, 2 cos x into the bracket. And then that's over cos x with 4 cos cubed x minus 3 cos x over cos x. Okay. And then um, we take out a common factor of cos x. And then you're left with 4 cos squared x minus 3 over cos x. Then those cancel. And then we're left with 4 cos squared x minus 3. And so therefore, the left-hand side is, in fact, the same as the right-hand side.